Good morning. So today is the day I get to do the handyman repairs to my RV. So an RV is nothing more than a, a house on wheels. So the kind of problems you have at home, this is the same kind of problems we have in an RV. Today, uh, my primary mission is to tear apart the toilet and find out why the foot actuating valve uh, stuck in the open position, which is not good because that uh, allows all the fumes from the black tank or the uh, septic tank, if you want to call it that, um, comes back up into the motor coach. So that's not good, kind of stinky. Uh, not something you want to smell all the time. So anyway, just to give you a quick picture of the motorhome before I go in and then I'll walk you through it. Okay, so here's the motorhome. That's the front end of it, as you can see. I got the slides out, which it's one thing nice about being able to park it here on, in my backyard, basically, uh, is that when I do need to work on it, it's right here. I can work on it whenever I have the time. Um, as you can see, I made a, a gravel parking lot for it, parking space. You don't really want to park it on blacktop because the, the weight will literally make uh, indentations in the uh, blacktop, especially when it's hot, because blacktop uh, gets relatively spongy when it's really hot. You know, uh, you're walking on it, you won't notice it, but when you drive something like a 40,000 pound uh, behemoth like this motorhome, it will. And if you notice, uh, on a really hot day, I backed it in or pulled it out and let it sit here a little longer than I should have. So I, you probably can't see the indent indentation, but it's right here on the edge. But anyway, so now we're gonna walk inside. the doors up here it's a diesel pusher so the doors up here in the front there's my chair because the wife never drives anyway that's gonna make has to get used to the lighting in here uh, iPhone's pretty good but there is a, usually a, a moment that it has to adjust so anyway just to give you a quick look at what it looks like I got both front slides out so this is the front area here is the living room we had all the carpet pulled out except underneath the table there because they couldn't really remove it um, without a major overhaul of that slide. But we put in laminate flooring, which is so much nicer, easier to keep clean. and don't have all the dust and mites and things like that that carpet does. So there's the kitchen area. So following the, the uh, outside colors of having a red, you can see the cornice boards around the windows have a red, reddish hue. And of course the wife bought all red uh, small appliances. And that's a key in a motorhome, um, to be honest. Uh, the more smaller devices you can use to prepare your meals, uh, things like that, um, is good. Uh, this one has a gas stove and an oven, um, but it just, it's, if you use it, it, it heats up the uh, interior of the motorhome. Uh, so the wife don't use it much. Um, so you can see we've got a, a rice cooker, an air fryer. And let me tell you, that air fryer is by and large the best thing we ever bought. It is so handy. Uh, the wife will, I mean, she can even cook raw food in it because it will cook it. Um, but my by and large, um, the wife, because we only go for long, four day weekends, things like that, um, right now, but she'll cook up a lot of food at home and then freeze it. And then we just bring it along. Um, now that originally was a wood table and I was lucky enough to find the Corian, uh, over in Baltimore that would match what's on the rest of the coach. And so I, uh, bought the piece, they cut it to size, smoothed it out for me. And then I installed it on the actual frame. So, and also, that's a new couch. It used to be the cloth, same material as a cornice board. Didn't like that. So we bought this uh, through online. Um, I think it's called Seats for You, but I'm not sure. But they had a fantastic price shipped it to us, and the folks who did the floor for us installed it for me. So anyway, and, and you can see, now I replaced the microwave. The old microwave died. Uh, I just bought that at uh, Home Depot, I think. And then I had this new 
residential refrigerator installed because it's uh, much better than the old gas electric one. Uh, this one we can plug in a couple hours before we head out and it's cold and ready to freeze and we just love it. Plus it's a lot bigger. Of course, there's the shower. Um, it is tight, I won't lie, but it's big enough. And of course, here's the bathroom. And there's the wonderful toilet that I got to fix today. Or at least find out why it's broke. I'm going to have to order parts. Now, here's the bedroom. Kind of a mess right now. Uh, it is a sleep number bed. It's a king size. California king, I think. But we love it. In fact, we sleep better in it than we do on the bed and home. So anyway, now, there's my uh, various tools. Probably it's going to be half inch. 7 sixteenths or 5 eighths, but I'm not sure, so I brought everything. It's easier to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So anyway, what happened was the foot valve down there um, started getting hard to actuate, and, and then on our last trip, and then one time I pushed it down, and it, went all, it opened all the way, but then wouldn't come back. So don't know if there's a spring in there that's busted or a... A uh, actuating cable that's busted I hope it's something simple like that um, so I won't know until I take and you have to take it all apart um, that right there is really nothing but a exterior cover it's just a plastic formed cover real lightweight and I've already taken it's basically got bungee cords or rubber bands and as you can see it just comes right off and gets out of my way but unfortunately to get down to the rest of it, I actually got to unbolt it, and that's the hard part. So I can't do this and unbolt it at the same time. So once I get it apart, I'll come back on and show it. So as you can see, I took the toilet out. I'll take it over in my little workshop garage. But it's just like a house, see? Regular flange, two bolts, that's all she wrote. I disconnected the water, and then I just use this plastic like 16 ounce cup is wide enough around diameter that he plugs a hole so the smell don't come back up. That's really all you gotta do. So now it's go over to the garage, and start tearing it apart. So here you go. I've got it all disconnected. It's sitting here in my garage. Uh, the one good thing about an RV toilet is there's no water tank. So it's a lot lighter to carry, but I bring it in here so I got room to work on it. Anyway, the flange bolts, we're half inch nuts, right? But the, uh, there's four bolts that holds the top and the bottom parts together, as you can see. Um, and that's uh, 9 sixteenths. So I'm getting ready to disconnect it and take the top off um, and see what's going on. Oh, and by the way, and I'll put this in the title, this is a, uh, Aqua Plus, Thetford. It's a Thetford Aqua Plus. So if you're looking online, that's what it is. Okay, so I got it apart. As you can see, there's two pieces. This lower piece where the foot actuator is, is all pretty much plastic. And then of course that piece, as you can see underneath, is uh, all uh, ceramic. Except for the seat, of course. And then normally, that washer sits in here, this, right? So I took that out. What it looks like is right in here, there's a uh, an arm that attaches to this mechanism, which attaches by this cable right here uh, to make it rotate. Um, and it's not. So either a pin is busted, I don't know. So I gotta take it all apart there and see what we got right here we go so i just took this piece right here out and it came from that hole and what i found out was that this little piece right here that little bitty piece was actually attached attached in there to that right there which actually is solid to the flapper valve, which is that thing, okay, 
So it, it's solid molded plastic. And then this goes in and a screw holds it in there. And then this attaches to the mechanism through little metal uh, connecting arms. So it rotates. So at least now I know what I gotta buy. Uh, I gotta buy that little flapper valve mechanism. Now the hard part is looking online and trying to find the actual part number. Alrighty, so that's where we are. And um, so there's not much else I can show you now because I gotta order the parts. Alright, so that's at least the disassembly.